we want to continue um, the previous work that we were doing um, we were taking a look at the three measures of central tendency or the three statistical averages now this is how we have been working with we we worked with starting off with a small set of data now on the small set of data we need to work with the measures of central tendency You need to be working with the measures of central tendency and that was the previous video that I made which we looked for the mean which is the arithmetic average or the arithmetic mean or the average we looked at the mode which is the one that occurred the most or the one that was most frequently written down um, we also looked at the median which is the middle number now on this episode or on this part of mathematics we want to continue with small set of data but we want to take a look at the range the measures of measures of dispersion which is the lower quartile which we use Q1 to indicate the lower quartile <coughs> we will also be taking a look at the middle quartile which is the median we and in charts we say it's q2 right and then we also want to take a look at the upper quartile which is indicated by q3 and actually what we're trying to find here in terms of the differentiation it is how spread the data is going to be um, in terms of finding what is the one-fourth number what is the middle number and what is the upper number or the three-fourths number right and then for this one for this mass set of data it's going to be easy you just have to be cancelling from left and right and then seeing what is the middle number that you get apart from those we want to also take a look at the interquartile range interquartile range and the semi interquartile range right and then for those two this one is i q r and this is going to be s i q r right so this is what we're going to be looking at right now um let's just quickly start off with an example example let's say the data um is given the following data is given it says determine the range, determine the dispersion, and determine the semi interquartile range for the following set of data. And it is given to you as such 3, 4, 4, 7, 9, 2, 2. Let's go with another uh, five, six, six, and then we have another nine, eight, 
and then we have let's say a two um let me see let's add in another six i'm just making up these numbers here so don't worry about it uh, let me add in another eight and then we have that right in total let's find what is n n we know that it's the number of numbers that you have here right so what i'm going to do is just count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen in total we have 15 numbers all right so that is n now how do you find the range one let's take a look at the range and then the range is going to be the largest entry minus the smallest entry right so we have the largest entry minus the smallest entry now what is the largest entry the largest entry if we take a look at the numbers we have three four and seven nine two five six nine eight two six eight the largest entry of course is going to be a nine so we're going to say it's nine minus the smallest entry right here it starts off with two so it's going to be two here so the range is going to be nine minus two which is seven very easy you just take the largest number and you subtract the smallest number let's continue we want to take a look at the measures of dispersion so two measures of dispersion now when it comes to the measures of dispersion there are two things you have to do one we, we are going to be um, arranging so let's say one step one arrange from smallest to biggest or arrange in ascending order so we have arrange the um, let's put data in order right so we're going to arrange data in ascending order, which, which means that we're going to put it from smallest to biggest. If we take a look at the data at the top, we have that the data or the smallest number we have, it's two. So we're going to start off with two. So that's going to be two, two, and two. Reason for three twos, because we have one, two, three, okay? If you guys want you could do the same thing why i put those little circles is just to indicate that i have entered it so at the end when i finish i can go back and check that i have entered all the numbers moving on we have three and there is only one tree moving on we have four and we have two of those so we say four and four and then two nine if you take a look at my numbers now they're all circled which means i have included all of them if i would end up and i would see that one is not circled then that means i did not include that one and i go back and i enter it another way to check that you have used all the numbers n is 15 we just count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 15 right and that is what we have now let's take a look at the measures of the dis dispersion the measures of dispersion we have it is quartile 1 quartile 2 and quartile 3 which is the lower quartile middle quartile and the upper quartile 
we are going to start off by finding the middle quartile because it's the easiest in this case and then how we're going to find the middle quartile we're going to be um, removing one number from the left and then one number from the right and then we're going to go all the way until we reach the middle so let's do that so we have one here one from here one here one from here and then we go all the way to the middle right and then this is what we're going to be doing if you notice you end up with the number six so that means that q2 equals to six or the middle quartile equals six and that's it that's the middle quartile moving on once you have used this one then we go to finding what is the lower quartile now of course the lower quartile is going to be taken out from the lower half and then the upper quartile right is going to be taken out from the upper half and then what do we do we do this we practically the same thing we are going to remove from the left and the right from the lower half and then left from the right on the upper half and then we find what is the middle so let's take a look at what is q1 q1 is going to be one from here one from here start removing one from here one from here one from here one from here and then again if you notice three is the middle number so in this case we have that q1 which is the lower quartile equals to three so what is our lower quartile our lower quartile is three our middle quartile is six one fourth number three half number six and then we move on and then we we'll try to get what is the upper half the upper half or the upper quartile is going to be again you, we already know what we're going to do we're going to say one in one out one in one out one in one out notice and then we have that it is the upper quartile so q3 which is upper quartile equals to it and then this is what we have q1 is 3 q2 is 6 q3 is 8 the next two things that we want to find out is the interquartile range right the interquartile range let me just remove right so this is what we have for the dispersions and then we have three is the interquartile range and then four is the semi interquartile range this is s i q r and this is i q r right in shorts all right how do we get the interquartile range the interquartile range we or the semi interquartile range sorry it is going to be the answer you got for q3 or the upper quartile minus the lower quartile right so the upper quartile minus the lower quartile it minus three it minus three we have five are we clear with that one now quite easy since it's a range you know it's range and then the range we got it from the largest entry minus the lowest entry or the smallest entry we got seven right so in terms of quartile semi interquartile range we have it is going to be the upper quartile minus the lower quartile which is eight minus three gives us five for the semi interquartile range there is something that you have to understand or just know what is semi semi is half half of what half of the interquartile range the interquartile range is five so half of it is going to be 2.5 
or in other words it's going to be the, or, or the formula is going to be q3 minus q1 over 2 q3 minus q1 gives us the interquartile range right divided by 2 now makes it semi because you want half or you want to divide it by 2 which is going to be 5 divided by 2 which is 2.5 and that is what we have so what we did today quickly we want to find what is the range we want to find what is the measures of dispersion which is q1 q2 and q3 lower middle and upper quartile you want to find what is the interquartile range and you want to find what is the semi interquartile range right what we have covered is the ones above mean median mode and mean median mode whenever you're working the problem first thing take a look at your problem if the problem is not organized then you have to organize it for the range it's not necessary because you just want to find which one is the largest number and you remove the smallest number making it seven that is the range the dispersions are range in ascending order you put it from smallest to biggest once we do that then we go one in one out one in one out until we get the middle that makes it the middle quartile which is q2 and in this case six now you have a bottom half and an upper half the bottom half or the lower half gives you the lower quartile the upper half gives you the upper quartile and then what how do we get it we do basically the same thing one in one out one in one out until we get that answer and then this is what we have right the interquartile range that's going to be a range it's a range so it's going to be q3 which is the upper quartile here upper quartile minus the lower quartile which is three so eight minus three gives us five the semi interquartile range it is the on, the only thing that you have to remember it is it says it's semi so semi means half of it so you're going to divide it by two so it's five the answer that you get here divided by two gives us two point five any questions